Hello, my name is Michael McCabe, Product Manager for RFID here at Pepperl & Fuchs. And this is our RFID handheld unit. It's an award-winning design. You can actually do three different frequencies with it, so low frequency, high frequency, and ultra high frequency if you get the corresponding modules for it. And if you want, you can get a model that has a barcode scanner and a camera, which is awesome. Now, if you're familiar with RFID, you might be thinking more about our stationary readers. You know, the readers that are mounted in one location and then an RFID tag goes by them. Now, that's a great system. It really is. It works great on conveyors. It works good on rail systems, forklifts, maybe if you're using machine access. But that still does leave some applications out. And that's where having a mobile unit is so important. So let me give you a couple examples just for fun. Let's consider first AGVs. Sometimes they're actually guided by RFID pucks that are in the floor. What if you have to change the information on those tags? Stationary reader is not going to work well, so you go over with this guy, write the information that you need to, and all done. What about when pallets are dropped off at your location? And maybe the stationary reader is, well, a little bit away. Again, go up with your mobile handheld unit, write the information that you need to to the pallets, and you're good to go. Or sometimes, maybe there's a product coming down a conveyor line, and you notice that there's a defect on it. Well, again, go ahead and take your handheld unit, write the information to the tag that there is a defect, so that the product will be routed off the line and can be fixed by someone later. The last one is consider seats that are made for cars. They're all different colors usually and those different colors require different dyes. Now sometimes you could have a whole shelf full of different dyes. To find the one that you need you can simply turn on your handheld scanner and search for the tag and when you get close to that die that has the tag on it, it'll beep and you save time finding what you need. So with the addition of this handheld unit, Pepperl & Fuchs is making sure that we really maintain the full portfolio of RFID products so that we really are a one-stop solution for your needs. And that's in addition, of course, to the amazing technical support that we've been uh, known to have. So at this point, let's get closer into looking at this handheld unit here. All right, so here is the base unit. You can tell that it looks very similar to a phone. And to be honest, it feels very similar to a phone. It also has a strap on the back, some nice leather as well. There's a keyboard that will pop up when you need to input data. It feels kind of like texting. So again, very familiar. But of course, the cool part about this uh, RFID handheld unit is the modular concept. So in the past, if you needed an ultra high frequency handheld unit, you had to buy an ultra high frequency handheld unit. If you wanted a high frequency one, you had to buy a high frequency one. If you wanted a low frequency one, you had to buy a low frequency version. This one, all I have to do is swap out the corresponding module. It'll tell me that I attached the UHF right there. And now what I can do is operate the corresponding application, which I'll show you a little bit later. But it's as simple as that. You simply get the module that you need for the frequency that you need and attach it when necessary. So very cool. Now that of course is going to help with pricing. Okay. There is again a low frequency and a high frequency and then an ultra high frequency. Low frequency and high frequency are considered short range systems. So within a few inches, the ultra high frequency is long range and that will give you a pretty good read write range. Of course, it depends on tag size, but this unit pumps out about 500 milliwatts of power. Now, Pepperl & Fuchs is not new to handhelds. We've had them before. The difference is that a lot of old handhelds on the market used Windows CE. Microsoft, they don't support Windows CE anymore. So this Android Industrial Plus will really make sure that this is future proof. 
It's got great security as well, so your data is always secure. And again, also very familiar to a lot of users. Now, this handheld unit is, is very tough. Um, I've already done some tests, <laughs> dropped it and stuff, and uh, it, it's been holding up very nice. It's meant for industrial environments. It's IP54, it can be used indoors and outdoors. You can find other versions, other cheaper versions on the market, uh, even ones that will connect to an employee's phone, but those really aren't meant for industrial, harsh, long-term use. Uh, those might be better for retail environments. Now, there's also, there is also two versions of this handheld unit, and that's important. There is one that does not include a barcode uh, scanner and a camera, and then there's one that does include a barcode scanner and a camera. It's a five megapixel camera. Both of them come with a flashlight, but you're gonna ask, well, why would I need, uh, you know, I can understand why I need a barcode scanner, but why would I want a camera? Well, let's say you're scanning something and it has a defect on it. Maybe you want a picture because a picture is worth a thousand words, so you can attach a picture along with it. That can be really helpful if necessary. Those barcodes that you read, it's gonna be 1D or 2D barcodes, and these buttons here on the side is what's gonna operate that barcode scanning functionality. It's going to be up here, that's the barcode scanner right there. You can see the camera and the flashlight on the back there. All very simple, again, this is an award-winning design. Now, what do you need if you wanna get started with a system, what do you have to buy? Well, you have to pick one of the two base units, you have to pick at least one of the modules, so ultra high frequency, high frequency, or low frequency, just depending on what you need. And then you also need the docking station. So the docking station also has room for an additional battery. If you wanna purchase an additional battery, uh, it does come with one. So if you're charging it up, but you also wanna be charging another battery at the same time, you have the option to do that. Maybe you, maybe you use it a lot on the floor and you just don't wanna have any downtime. It's a really nice feature. All right, so let's take a look at these applications. I've got ultra high frequency and a low frequency, high frequency app. Now, since I have the ultra high frequency module attached, that will allow me to open up the ultra high frequency application. Now, before I go any further though, I know you may be asking or wondering, can you develop your own app? And the answer is yes, of course. And we actually have some tools available that will help you do so. But I will say for 95% of the time, the applications on here will work just great, right out of the box. They're, they're really good applications. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm going to go to scan. I'll hit the scan button and you can see really easily, it picks up both tags. It's gonna show me some of the EPC information. It's gonna show me an RSSI value, how many times the tag was read, uh, the timestamp, all good information. Now, I do have the ability, if I want, to log that information as well. The Total Commander app on the home screen kind of gives me some flexibility of where I'm gonna log that information to. Now, it's important, I think, to stop and also talk because you might be saying, well, how do I get the information off of the device? Great question. Uh, the most simplest explanation is, if we look at the docking station, here we see a USB port and then also a LAN connection that you can make. So you can put a USB stick in here and just take it to the laptop or wherever you're taking that information to or use the LAN connection, set that up, works great. There is the ability, the handheld does have the ability for Bluetooth and wireless capabilities as well. Uh, but for those, you will need to set up a customized application uh, because most of the time, the USB and the LAN connection is gonna work just great. Now let's go ahead and move on to the locate feature. This is really cool. So if I know that the tag starts with, let's say E200, I can just say, find a tag that's gonna start with those digits. I'll hit okay and hit locate. And look at that, it's already locating the tag. It's giving me a visual representation. 
in audio representation. It's that easy. So let's go back. Now, of course, uh, some people ask me, can you write to a tag with a handheld? You absolutely can. And not only that, but you can be very specific with the information um, or the location and the amount of data that you're writing. So you can pick the memory bank that you'd like. You can pick how many words you'd like to write, where you'd like to start writing that information. And then also use hex or decimal and even ASCII. You don't always get a handheld reader that allows ASCII. It's going to be the same kind of functionality with the read. Again, you have a lot of flexibility. And then also there's the ability to uh, secure your tag. So you can unlock it, uh, lock it, you can kill it if you want to. All great functionality. And of course, in each of those menus, there are additional settings as well. You just go to the settings button up there. So at this point, you may be wondering, well, how do I purchase one of these? Well, let me explain. So let me help you find this on our website. I went to pepperlandfuchs.com. This is our homepage. I'm going to hover over products and then go down to identification systems. Now, when I go to this page, it's going to bring up RFID and then you'll see optical identification. Click on RFID. And then on this next menu, it's going to have the option for RFID handhelds. So I'll click on that. And then of course, what we're going to see on this next page is everything that I just showed you. So here are the two base units. Here is the one with the camera and the barcode reader, spare battery, a charger, the docking station, and of course the corresponding modules depending on what frequency you need. So here's low frequency, here's high frequency, here's ultra high frequency. So it's as simple as that. Now you can contact us through here. You can get pricing and lead times. You can also email us. Um, you can get lead times and pricing information or email us a purchase order uh, this way or contact us via phone and follow the prompts for internal sales. And there you can also get lead times, pricing information and so forth. You can comment on this video and that will actually make its way to myself. But other than that, again, my name is Michael McCabe, product manager for RFID. Until next time, have a good one.